Hi, this is Tim, and I just realized in my video where I talked about three phase and single phase and how they actually get rotating, I left out a very important thing, and that is the relation between motor poles and RPM. If you recall in that video, we showed that the magnetic field is doing this, towards the paper being south, away being north and it's rotating this north-south magnetic field, which pulls that squirrel cage along, and that's how it rotates. Also, I do wanna make sure I give another plug. The YouTuber Electroboom is actually where I got this representation from. It's probably the best representation I've seen. But if you're not following that, I'll put a link in the description to the video where I explained how that happened. But one thing I didn't think to say in that is, okay, so now we have a rotating magnetic field well, how fast is it rotating? And that is a combination of the number of motor poles and the speed of the AC waveform or the Hertz. So in the United States, we have 60 Hertz and 60 Hertz is 60 cycles per second. So we have 60 cycles per second. And then this is a two pole motor. So a two pole motor is going to go north, south, north, south, north, south, 60 times per second. That means this rotating magnetic field, which is tied to our squirrel cage, is rotating 60 cycles per second. Now, usually it's in RPM. If we multiply that by 60, then that's gonna equal 3,600 RPM. Two pole motor, 3,600 RPM. Now, let's say that we had four pole motor. Now, one thing I didn't say earlier is, you know, you're looking at this probably saying, well, I see six poles. Well, it's poles per phase. We only right now are looking at this A phase. The A phase had two poles. Now we're gonna have four poles. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna make this take longer for this magnetic field to rotate through here. This is going to run at 1800 RPM. And if you had say an eight pole motor, it would be 900 RPM. Every time you go double your poles, you're gonna split your RPM in half. Also for the people in the 50 Hertz world, all you would do is change this 60 to a 50. If we had a two pole motor, then it would be going 50 revolutions per second. And that means that a 50 Hertz two pole motor is gonna run 3000 RPM whereas a 60 hertz two pole motor is gonna run 3,600. Here's a really nice chart showing the RPM based on the number of poles and whether you have 50 or 60 hertz. 